Right now, we are in the Christmas season. So many people are looking for different things. Some people are looking for gifts. Some people are looking for fun. Some people are looking for relief. Some people are looking for good food. Some people are looking for community and family. Some people are looking for escape. Some people are looking for answers. Some people are looking for freedom. Some people are looking for hope. God is looking for something this Christmas. He's looking for your heart. This is the meaning of Christmas. God came into the world and dwelt among us. Jesus came into the world looking to save those that were lost, those that were trapped with no way out, those stuck in sin, those stuck in depression, those stuck in anxiety, those stuck in guilt and condemnation, those stuck in self-righteousness and pride, those stuck in false religion. Jesus came into the world to save us all. This, my friends, is the meaning of Christmas. The Savior was born to save you and me. Christmas is not about Christmas lights. You can see the best light displays with brilliant colors and twinkling lights organized without a visible flaw. But it's not even a comparison to the light of the world. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus Christ is that light. The true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Do you want to walk in the light this Christmas? Christmas is not about food. Christmas time is full of treats, holiday food and dinners, but we need more than food to sustain our souls. In John 6, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The world is full of things promising to fulfill our spiritual hunger. You could go from thing to thing, relationship to relationship, job to job, experience to experience, and you will still be empty and hungry on the inside. Jesus Christ is the only one who can satisfy. Do you want to be satisfied this Christmas? Christmas is not about partying or drinking. Every experience in this world fades, it comes and goes, and leaves you drier and with more thirst. It's like trying to cup the fullness of the ocean with your hand. We have an ocean of thirst and only one thing can quench that thirst, the ocean of God's love found in Jesus Christ. Jesus speaking in John 4 says, But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Jesus said in John 7, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Jesus is the only one who can quench our spiritual thirst. This world offers dry, poisonous alternatives. Jesus offers rivers of living water. Look at your life. How many times have you gone to the same thing, thinking it would quench your thirst, only to have a burning dryness that was worse than before? Jesus wants to quench your thirst today. Are you thirsty this Christmas? Christmas is not about presents under a tree given on Christmas Day. Every year we want new things. 
everything in this world fades away or breaks, and you cannot take any object in this world into eternity. 1 John 2.16 says, For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and pride and possessions, it's not from the Father, but it's from the world. And the world is passing away and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Christmas is about the greatest gift of all. God sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save us from our sins. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 John says, By this the love of God was manifested in us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through him. Ephesians 1 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians 2 8 and 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a re result of works, so that no one may boast. This is the greatest gift ever given in human history, and it's freely offered to you today. Salvation is a free gift. It does not come through a priest, a pope, a pastor, or even your good works. It comes through grace, God's riches at Christ's expense. It comes through repentance from sin and believing in Jesus Christ. It comes through the cross. Do you want the best gift of all this Christmas? Christmas is not about a green tree. It's about a wooden cross. John 19 says, They took Jesus, therefore, and he went out bearing his own cross to a hill called Golgotha, the place of a skull. 1 Peter 2 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds you were healed. Isaiah 53, 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Colossians 2, 14 says, By canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands, this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the rulers and authorities, and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in him. For it was on the cross that the baby boy who was both God and man came to fulfill his purpose, to pay for your sins. On the cross, Jesus took your shame, your sin, your guilt, your penalty, your judgment. You might be saying, I don't have any of that. My friend, you do. Just like each human, your sin has devastated you and those around you. And sin always leads to hell. It's the cross of Jesus Christ where God dealt with sin. If you're putting your trust in a man, a priest, a church, a tradition, a religion, or even your own good deeds, your sins will not be forgiven. You must repent of your sins and believe in Jesus Christ. John 19 says, On the cross, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, said, It is finished, and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. The word he used means the debt has been paid in full. No matter your sin, no matter your past, Jesus Christ paid for it on the cross. You can be fully forgiven. You can be made fully new. Nothing of this world can transform a human heart. Nothing of this world can take a heart of stone marred by sin and pride and make it a heart of flesh. Nothing can heal the hidden brokenness of your heart. Nothing can remedy your depression. Nothing can destroy your fear. Nothing can remove your shame and guilt. Nothing can defeat death and hell. Nothing besides Jesus Christ.
To believe in Jesus Christ is more than just mental assent. The Bible says even the demons believe and tremble. When I say believe in Jesus Christ, I mean put all of your past, all of your present, and all of your future under His Lordship. The word Lord means master. You will be mastered by something in this life. Many are mastered by money, many by sex, many by fear, many by power, many by depression, many by ignorance, many by pride. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to be mastered by something or someone, I want to be mastered by the author of love, the author of truth, the author of peace, the author of holiness, the author of righteousness, the author of forgiveness, the author of every good thing by the Lord Jesus Christ. So are you hungry this Christmas? Are you thirsty? Are you looking for the greatest gift of all? Are you ready to know God? Christmas is not about lights, food, parties, gifts, Santa, vacation from school and work. Christmas is about God orchestrating the most beautiful plan of salvation, bringing light to those trapped in darkness and freedom to those trapped under the weight of their past and present sin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the bread of life. He is the living water. He is the Son of God given for your and my sins. He is conviction to the proud and self-righteous. He is love incarnate, forgiveness freely offered, reconciliation between man and God defined. He is hope experienced, faithfulness unfailing. He is peace that surpasses understanding. He is goodness insurpassable. He is life lived. He is death defeated. He is the way, the truth, and the light. You can know him today. If you would like to know him, pray this out loud with all of your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe in you. Today, I am ready to surrender my life to you. Please show me the ways that I have sinned against you. I ask that you would forgive me of all of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross, paying for all of my sin, all of my shame, and all of my guilt. My sin is so serious that you had to die for it. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I believe you overcame my sin and you overcame death and you rose from the dead. I make you the Lord of my life, the boss of my life. I'm tired of avoiding you. I'm tired of ignoring you. Please come into my life and change me. Help me to live for you. Help me to hear you. I commit my life to you as best as I know how today. Please lead me and guide me and help me to become everything you created me to be as I grow in relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, please send an email below. If you have questions, feel free to message me. God bless you and Merry Christmas. Jesus Christ is Lord.